everyone, it's Temi with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't watched my last video, you should pause this one and go check out the vlog because in it you can see when I went to the store and purchased these beautiful items. So I went to Coach Retail and Coach Outlets and I got something for myself from both stores. Yes, I did go wild. No, I don't regret it because it's been a long time I was in the mall in Calgary if for those of you who don't know I live in Lethbridge and to go to any of these designer or contemporary designer um, stores I have to drive two hours to Calgary to get there otherwise I just shop online so I was like a kid in the candy store going to the mall this past weekend and I totally totally enjoyed myself so I'm going to show you what I got from the outlet first and then I'll show you what I got from the retail store i'm also going to be including mud shots from when i was in store so you can see how the purses look on me of course of course i'm also going to give you details dimensions and specifications of each item that i purchased first of all going into coach outlet i have three things in mind i wanted to film for my vlog i wanted to buy a bucket bag and i wanted to buy a tooth and i kind of already knew the direction i was going in with both bags since i had checked um the different styles that they had online the first bag I purchased is this small town bucket bag. Isn't she gorgeous? Let me give you a 360. This doesn't come with this, with the bag. It's a charm. I'm going to talk about it later. And that's just a quick overview of the bucket bag. It comes with a short strap, top handle, and then a longer strap as well. So I purchased this because I have been looking for another bucket bag. I love bucket bags and I have one in my collection from Aldo that I love. I use that in the summer mostly. And then when um, I saw this on the Coach Outlet website, I really, really wanted the blue one because that blue was just so sweet for summer. It's similar to the blue that um, LV did with Anir Noe. And so I wanted something like that. Of course, I was I didn't want to pay as much as um an lv price so i looked to coach outlet <clears throat> they had the small town bucket bag in that color it was sold out online and i figured if i go in store i'll be able to purchase it however when i got there the manager told me that they never even got that blue in store i was devastated and then i ended up going with the green instead which i absolutely love i actually love i don't have any green bag in my collection so this is a great color for spring summer it is so beautiful coach calls this their washed slash amazon green and it comes in silver hardware i like the fact that it comes with silver hardware because i don't have any bag that comes with silver hardware so that's a good one i bought this keychain slash bag charm just to go with it to decorate my bag a little bit you know dress it up make it fancy of course you can hook your keys on here or whatever it is that you want hand sanitizer it also comes with its own charm so just this coach dog tag right here very beautiful i like the metal on there it's so pretty and this bag comes in other colors as a yellow a red pink on the inside of this bag it is an amazon green so the outside is a washed green that's what coach calls the color washed green and then inside is this beautiful amazon green you guys can see the inside i love the fact that they do the two colors so for all of the small town bucket bags that's how it comes one color on the outside and a different color on the inside it is a pebbled leather on the outside and then the inside is a very smooth I'm not sure it's leather but it's like leather so it's very very smooth and then you have one zip compartment there this zipper compartment goes all the way down but it doesn't like it's not stitched to the bottom so there's space at the bottom and if you put things in this compartment it can move to the other compartment if that makes sense it is a small bag there's a bigger size for the town bucket bag but this is a smaller size but even though it's small it carries Quite a bit of things i've already started using this i've been using this as my work bag throughout last week and it served me well it holds everything i need the only thing i would say that i don't like about this bag is the stitching here can you guys see these stitches and that's because they stitched that part to hold the snap button closure 
but that's on the back back so you might say oh it's not a problem but then it's also on the front see because the magnetic closure is also there so i don't know it just makes it look a bit tacky to me but then again you might say oh well it's a coach outlet bag so no big deal and i went to the retail store i actually realized that they had a very similar bucket bag to this and they had that in blue the blue that i wanted i just didn't buy it because one i already bought this and two that one had a floral pattern on the long strap and i didn't really like that so i wasn't even interested in it i can leave it linked in the description box for you guys below though if you're interested in that because they do still have it available in that shade of blue my what i'm trying to say is in the retail store that bucket bag also had the stitching at the back and i'm wondering don't they realize that it looks tacky like i understand if it's in the outlet bags but in the retail bags i would expect better right but hey whatever they feel is best for their product i still bought it i still love it and i have enjoyed using it so far so let me just give you guys the dimensions real quick the short strap drop is six and three quarter inches long the long strap drop is 22 inches long and it is eight and a half inches long eight and three quarter inches in height and then four inches in width so it's a good size bag it definitely does the job gets the job done again let me just show you the horse and carriage charm that i bought to go with it and any other bag that i have that is silver hardware so just bought it for anything silver hardware so you have the clasp the dog leash clasp you have the key ring with coach on it it's all in the details and they know how to make these pieces feel really good with the details and then you have the horse and carriage which is very coach so that's what that looks like and i think it's very cute on my bag So again, that is the small town bucket bag in washed green and Amazon green with silver hardware. And of course, since I'm an SLG lover, I got a few little things to go on the inside of this bag. First thing I got is this cute little card holder or wallet. Coach calls it a wallet, but to me, it's just a card holder, but it's so pretty. They have this in different colors as well. So you have that snap button closure it opens up. And that's the chain that I tucked right in there. So it holds whatever you want it to hold in this large compartment. Then you have two card slots at the back. And this thing is so big, guys. Like all my cards fit in here. All my cards. Loyalty cards, debit cards, credit cards, health card, bus card. All the cards I have fit in here. And then, of course, you have the back pocket. So it's the signature daisy mini wallet on chain it's just so handy you can just have everything you want all your cash your cards you can put coins in there but because it doesn't have a zip the coins might fall out if you're not too careful and then you have your chain so you can wear it crossbody on the shoulder however you want to wear it but I typically don't use it with the chain I actually take the chain off and then just use it as a card holder inside my bag so I think that's so pretty and it goes so well for spring summer I love it so much. also to go with the bag for spring summer I bought the mini boxy cosmetic case with lipstick print I saw this when it first came out and I was like Mm, that's so childish who's going to want to buy something like that <laughs> when i went into the store i couldn't resist because it was just so cute and it's the right size to use as a catch-all inside my bag of course it was created to be a mini cosmetic case but i'm not really a makeup person i just use it as a catch-all with my bag so for little things like my eyeglass wipes hand sanitizer um, coins gum so that's what it looks like it's just very cute and handy to have and you just have one open compartment and then one zip pocket in the back okay next i bought my coat 
I've been wanting to buy this tote for the longest time. I have only two totes in my collection, one for spring, summer, and one for fall, winter. So I just decided I want I wanted to change from the Daisy Rose one. I'd had it for a very for a while now, and I wanted to change from that to a coach one. Oh. And this is the tote I eventually went with. This is the coach city tote in signature canvas with red trim. This is their signature monogram canvas the dark one because they do have a lighter signature monogram canvas this is a dark one and this city tote comes in different combinations so you can either get the light canvas or the dark canvas with different colors so there's lilac there's brown there's white there's black i got it in the red so dark monogram canvas with red trim again this is similar to the LV never fall in the size MM in particular. It has a zipper compartment at the back. And then of course you have the coach story patch. Care card. It came with the tag on this um chain. If you want to call that a chain. But I took it off because I didn't like it. And it had a stain here. I didn't see that in the store. So I ordered a luggage tag from Dress Up Your Purse in red with my initials hot stamped on it. So I can't wait for that in to arrive. So with this tote, I got the Coach Multi Mix Bag Charm. Let me take that off so you can see it better. So this is the Multi Mix Bag Charm again with the dog clasp, the key ring, and then the beautiful, beautiful charm. And this is really just going to be my workhorse for fall and winter because it's just a very durable throw everything and the kitchen sink in it type of bag. The interior is wipeable. The strap drop is nine and a half inches long. I'm gonna check my notes. It is 13 inches in length, 11 and a half inches in height, and six and three quarter inches in width. So that's very very big comparable to an lv never for mm like i said and just an all-round great bag for the price so there you have it the coach city tote in signature dark brown canvas with red trim now i'm going to show you my last big thing that i bought that i think is just so awesome <laughs> again this is the first time i'm buying something like this from coach Retail outlet the first time in either place and it is a pair of shoes <laughs> I was so taken back when I saw this shoe and I just had to have it so this is the Maxine suede sandal in color black this is a 9.5 Look at that. Isn't it so gorgeous? I love the rivets round the side. And then you have the signature coach there. It's just a simple sandal. Leather and suede. It's a good height. A block heel. And so I bought that. I wore it the very next day and they are comfortable. You can't wear it all day long because it begins to get uncomfortable after a point. But I think they're so nice. It looks so elegant without putting so much effort in it. So yeah, this was very this was a very, very nice find for me. And I'm happy I got those. And that's everything I bought from Coach Outlet. I was very, very happy with that trip. And then I also got a sticker booklet because of course Mother's Day was coming up. So we got that. With my purchase i think that's very pretty if you like stickers now i'm going to show you my coach retail purchase this one made me very happy because it was something i hadn't been sure i wanted to buy for a while and then i eventually did this is their mother's day ribbon i like the fact that they do different colored ribbons for different occasions so this was for Mother's Day, the cute pink. And then I got a gift as well. So they gave me this notebook, which I think was really, really sweet of them. Very thoughtful. So it's just a plain booklet. It's not lined. 
that's cool oh and it has stickers in there as well so nice i have two sets of stickers now so that was very thoughtful let's open up the box now to see what i got i haven't seen it since a week it's been a week now so <laughs> And this is a bag that when it first came out i wasn't sure that i wanted it but then it came out i i then saw it in a smaller size and the way the smaller size molded to the body i was like oh no that's a nice bag and i had been looking for a bag in that kind of style for for years now i just couldn't find you know it's one of those styles where you know you like it but you need to find the exact exact one that you really think is the one is really like the perfect one for your style because the style comes in so many different variations and I just needed to find the perfect one so I eventually did on this trip and I'm so happy look it's the ergo this is the coach ergo shoulder bag in the color natural with brass hardware and i love this so much i love it even more because it's like that vachetta leather like you know vachetta is natural so i don't know it just makes it all the more like and the gloved hand leather guys no. coach gloved hand leather is unrivaled i don't care what anybody says just it's coach gloved hand leather is it that is where it's at that's real leather and leather is not that expensive please so when chanel and hermes and all of them do their leathers and they fix it at so we are paying for the brand we know i don't have a problem with that if you want to pay for the brand that's great i can pay for it if i like it when it comes to leather good quality leather at a good price for what leather is because it's all the same leather this gloved hand leather is it you get the quality you get the price i don't know if i'm just rambling but i understand what i'm saying in my head <laughs> and i hope you guys understand what i'm trying to say as well so i love just look at how the color fades into the sides if that makes sense and the way it looks when i wear it on the shoulder it just like it molds to it just molds to my body and the shape stitching oh my god everything about this bag i just love i almost bought this bag in january this color in the beach saddle bag i was this close to getting it and that was when i bought my um beats 18 with rivets in the off-white so happy i didn't buy that beat saddle bag in this natural because now I have the ergo in the natural and I think it is so pretty the strap drop is ten and a half inches and this is all the strap you get there's no long strap and it's just that beautiful hobo shape but it's still so chic so you have the adjustable strap so you have five holes there you can change it to and then that tag just look at the tag very 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 pretty <clears throat> and the hardware you have coach on there it's just it's just so gorgeous all the detailing the stitching i love the stitching like i'm in love with the stitching that's the bottom it has the pleating here that i think it's just so pretty reminds me of dimples and then you have the opening with a leather pull on the zipper and then that's what it looks like on the inside it's a fabric lining and you have the coach story patch on the pocket of course on the zipper pocket so it has one zipper pocket and one slip pocket in the front lining looks so good so good and such a very thick material on the inside so yes guys there you have it this is the coach 
ergo bag there's a larger size the size 33 this is the smaller size and i think this size is perfect i don't think i would ever want the larger size it's it's just it's just an awesome size so let me quickly give you the dimensions nine and three quarter inches in length 11 and a half inches in height and two inches in width so it's not a very big bag but i'm pretty sure it'll hold everything i need and maybe even a little more this bag is gorgeous like it's just a simple beauty you know that kind of thing it reminds me of horses you know like a sable bag and that kind I'm of happy thing. that i waited this long to get a hobo bag that i really liked that i felt was a reflection of my personality and would work well with my wardrobe and i am not disappointed and quickly before i wrap up for today's video i let me just show you that i did also buy a belt from the retail store so i said i was looking for a reversible belt at the outlet but they didn't have one so i just got the one with the signature buckle in silver hardware and then when i went to the retail store they had a reversible belt with the signature hardware in brass this time so that's how you take that off and it's brown on one side and black on the other this is a small size but it fits for what i wanted and i did have them punch in two new holes really nice it's that wonderful um coach leather that i know is going to last me a very very long time and i can use either brown or the black side so that's the beauty. that's it guys that's everything i bought in this coach haul so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well as the tiny notification bell beside it so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video i'll see you in my next one bye